Hey guys, welcome back to the B-Movie. Never knew the wild blue yonder could be so exhausted. Gotta catch my breath. That looks like a good place to land. Very yellow. Ooh, soft landing. Careful, guys. It's a bit grabby. Hey, guys, I made it. Hey, no guy. Watch it. You don't know what you're dealing with. Oh. Just gonna recharge the old engine here for a sec. Ooh. Whoa. This is weird. You gotta turn. The cold, soulless eyes of a bee killer. Whoa. You were wondering about the tennis part. Oh, the teeth seem really off on the people. Do they? Like it just it looked like it's just a solid bar of white curve. It didn't look like they actually had divisions between their teeth. You mean you don't have one big tooth? Yeah. Well, that's on the top. That's my buck tooth. <laughs> but on the bottom, I just have no rows of teeth. I love like in animated shows where it's just like someone has like a crescent moon of teeth in the front. Can you imagine like the dental extras that teeth? Yes, it appears that um, you only have a banana-shaped section of tooth in the front. There are there are no teeth in the back. <laughs> can you imagine living like that? All your molars are gone. You just have like your front yeah. four teeth on the top and the bottom. All you can do is eat one carrot. You couldn't even eat a carrot. Could you eat? Could you eat a carrot with your front four teeth? If you like not like a rabbit, that's what I was kind of thinking. Yeah, you'd have to like shave it off with your teeth. Not the rain. I've been informed of your situation, and boy, you've really done it. Now well, look, I'm gonna help you out. Just focus and use your B reflexes. Remember, it's the B button. See that awning over there? Now, listen carefully. Once you're all set, activate your B reflexes with the B button and go! Hit it again and turn it off. You may have to wait for your senses to charge back up if you use it a lot. Go! Oh, and don't waste it in a safe zone. Okay, now get out of that awning, pronto! Your B flexes? My B flexes, baby. Of course you gotta use the B button. Oh! That's pretty cool. Still kicking, I see. Nice work, son. Now, if you wanna get out of there ASAP, and I suggest you do, you can get a speed boost by using a wind current. See that over there? That's a wind current. Focus and get to it. Once inside, you'll be swept away fast. But watch out for water drops. All right, so Barry is basically the B version of Neo. I was just gonna say the new Matrix looks really good. The insect version. It's a bug's life, the Matrix. Bugs Life. I like that movie. That has a game I think as well. I don't think it's any good though, but I could be wrong. Would you like to gather some pollen while you wait? I will. You really can hold a lot of pollen with that. That is my job. Like fueling you up on ammo, getting you ready for a boss fight. I wonder if there are boss fights in this. I really hope there are boss fights in this. That would be cool. Actually, this game's better than I thought it was gonna be. Oh yeah, I like it, I like the fact that it's not just like one thing; it changes. Like it went from being like tennis quick time events to pollinating flowers to driving around to this. Yeah, I agree. 
The variety is key. Get into the trash can. Oh yeah, we're safe in here. With your fly brethren. Oh, that looked weird. All right, I think we just need to wait for. Oh, okay, it came back. Now let's go. Oh, left trigger to hide. I saw that. That's weird. You just become invisible. You just you just cover your face and you hunker down, and the rain can't see you. Nobody will see me. If you don't move, the rain can't see you. Can we get in this? Yes, we can. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, so you can like, okay, so it just automatically targets you to like, cover, because it did it near the bench. Look out, kid. Got it. Ooh. Find some cover or you're I wonder what that honey's used for, because you have 9,800 of it. It's not like there's upgrades you're going to be buying. That'd be funny if we could use alternate costumes like a wasp. It wasped me all along. I don't get it. Instead of like all the bee puns, it's like just imagine a bee pulls on his mask and just says it was me all along. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> nice. A little bit of a stretch, but I like it. It's an extreme stretch, but um, you were not able to be prepared for that as it was a surprise attack. Oh boy, let it begin. Congratulations, you just got a one-up. You're at 10,000 points. Woo! Hey, that looks like a good place to rest. All right, we gotta make it to the window. They missed the best part right at the start of the movie. They didn't tell us about the all-known laws of aviation, saying that a bee should not be able to fly. Well, that's true, because their body's too big, and their wings are too small. Their wings small. are too small, and their fat little body is not big enough for their wings to lift them off the ground. But the bee flies anyway, because it does not care what the human thinks. True. They didn't even show us that at the start of the movie. That's the same reason why I can fly, because I don't care what the human thinks. Yeah. You know they make shirts- <laughs> You know they make shirts with the entire bee movie script printed on them? Wow. In just like really small print. Uh, no, I didn't know that. This sounds like a waste of money. It's actually a relatively short script because they can fit the whole thing on the front and it's just like 3.5. It's readable if you get close enough. You don't even need like a magnifying glass for you have good eyes. Oh, I have 2020 20 vision, man. I will read that script. I have 21. Yeah. Is that really is, is that really bad or is that really good? I think the higher up you go, the better, right? No, no, I have 120 vision. Just one eye? Are you, you're a pirate? Am I going up here? I thought that's how that works, right? Um, like 2020. Oh, I'm gonna be 20. in the rain. Oh no! Oh! <gasps> be down! Be down! Oh shoot! Use your uh, use your B fluxes. Come on! Yeah. My bad. I think I missed a wind tunnel or whatever these things are along the way. Oh, I can move in this. I didn't even realize I can move in that. Yeah, from what I understand, like... Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, sorry. Oh, okay. What's that? That's, from, like, I'm not sure, but what I understand from vision is it's, like, 20-20 means from 20 yards away you can see what the average person can from 20 yards away. But, like, 120 would be from one yard away you can see what the average person could see from 20 yards away. So, if I can read a billboard from five feet away and you can't, that means you have worse vision than me. Thank heavens. Stay away from the light! I repeat, do not go towards the light! Must go towards the light. Hey, that's not the light at the end of the tunnel! It's a supersonic train coming to run you down! Come on, snap out of it, kid! He keeps on having these midlife identity crises. <laughs> now, first he thought he was an earthworm, now he thinks he's a moth? I mean, really, Barry, what's your problem? Check out this militia! No more. I want to go home. Man, I thought caterpillars were hairy. They're not fake. They're synthetic. What's real is their wow, sparkle that looks terrible. and the Oof. money that you'll so still have the wall, but not <laughs> shelling out the real thing. <laughs> they were developed by NASA. 
for the astronauts' wives. And nobody can tell. I'll bet a jeweler can tell. What, what are you saying? You're a jeweler all of a sudden? <sighs> no, Ken. I'm not saying I'm a jeweler. I gotta get out of here. What? Maybe this time. 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 That is diabolical. Oh, there's the sun. Maybe that's a way out. I'll be right back. We're out of coffee. Anyone need anything? Only your speedy return, my love. I'm good. No, thanks. I'm fine. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. And if it falls out of the setting, they'll replace it for free for up to 17 months. 17? Ah! It's not guap, it's cheese dip. That's a deviation from the movie. Very true. And then it turned Don't into- Don't eat me! Wait, stop! B! Stand back! These are winter boots. These boots were made for stomping! All right, everyone spread out and search the perimeter. You, patrol the living room. You, dining room. You, jeweler. What? Ken, I told you, I'm not a- Whatever. You patrol the kitchen. Squash anything that has stripes, and remember, one stick from him could be deadly. Ow! Oh! Sweep the perimeter. Good? Breach and clear, Please breach and clear. We gotta be intrusion. Yeah, they're going through an awful lot of uh, unnecessary preparation for this. See that? It means you can get a human's attention. Press the left trigger to get in position. And remember what I said. I don't think you want to get their attention. They have a racket. Yeah, rackets are bad. You can probably pass right through the holes in it, though. Lock up. Good. Now shake your pee thing. Spin around. Anything to fill the meter you see on your screen. That's their irritation level. Be careful, though. They might swat at you unexpectedly. All the inputs that will be given to you or else. Just do what I tell you and be a bee. Why do we want to make them mad? Doesn't really make much sense. What the heck? Looks like you're like supposed to just. Why are you irritating them though? This feels like an incredible crisis. Am I just supposed to sit in here? I think when you move it goes up faster, but if you go outside of it, it ticks down. I see. Weird. It seems very odd. Yeah, we should be hiding. Not trying to irritate him. Oh no! I accidentally hit both buttons there. Oh, I gotta go do that again. Alright. Can you imagine if they just put on boxing gloves to fight the bee though? Just like, just strap on some big old red boxing gloves and say don't come any closer. It would be sting proof. Can you imagine a bee getting inside of those boots while you're just wearing them on your hands? Yeah, that'd be terrible. Right, we gotta do this one again, because I messed up the quick time event. My bee. What's up with the side of her mouth? Good! Nice try. Ouch. Alright, so apparently this is getting rid of them. <laughs> Somehow. You just gotta dance in a circle and not come anywhere near them to attack them, and they just get really afraid and run away, and then hit their friend. Watch me dance. Do the bee dance. I mean, you should be safe with that newspaper. Anything under 75 sheets and you can live it. That's what they said in the movie. You gotta watch out for Vogue, right? Yeah. It's a thick magazine. Well, that's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> the puzzle has been transferred to your forehead. Puzzle's on the go. Are they all going into the same bathroom? I thought the other person left. I thought they all went into the bathroom. Alright, we got one person left. This guy with the frying pan. Ooh, that's, that's really gonna leave a mark. 
Sir, you're being charged with the murder of, um, tennis player number one for hitting him in the head with a frying pan. It fractured his skull fatally. Well, let's see if it happens first. But, but there was a bee! Oh, oh, you're, you're free to go, sir. I understand. Oh! <laughs> well, you're right. He's not getting back up. They are all going in the bathroom. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, what are you all doing in here? There's a bee in the apartment! Why won't you just cooperate and let me stop you? Ken, what are you doing? He's just a poor defenseless bee. Defenseless! It's a bee! You know I'm allergic. There you go, little guy. Barry, I know I and so many other intelligent, highly attractive bees like me want to know. What's the scoop on the humans? Well, as far as species go, they're decent enough. So you like humans? The one's not trying to turn you into bottom of boot soup. What about this woman, Vanessa? You seem to have formed a special bond with her. Is that your phone? Nope, I'm on vibrate. What the? Will you get me a new earpiece? We're live, people! Amateur hour's over! Antennae will roll! Where were we? All right, Vanessa. Tell us about her, Barry. We're friends. Good friends. And we've got a friend. It's weird that they have eyebrows. That is weird. Barry, there you are. They're like what humanoid so bees. Long? Yeah. You know I mean, it is Seinfeld. True. The well, there's a so what's the deal the with airport food? Am I right? right? What's the deal with all this pollen? Am I right? I mean, what do we do with all this wax? Am I right? Ooh, new outfit ATMs. And there's a car dealer in the suburbs. New outfit ATM? Well, let's check that. Ooh, right here. Access, baby. Maybe I can be a wasp. You got ten thousand dollars. What are you gonna buy? I can be the lawyer. You could be the lawyer. I want to be the lawyer. What else is there? Uh, race car driver. That's it. Is that the bottom? Oh wait, now there's more. Oh, I shoot. I could be a hornet. I can be a wasp. I can be a dragonfly. A pollen jockey. Jack, a fly. For only fifty thousand dollars, does it go further? That is it. Fly is pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna. Be... I don't know. The lawyer is not bad though. Yeah, I'm happy with my lawyer purchase. Yes. I wonder if it's like that in the cutscenes. I really hope it is. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll see you next time with more of the B movie.